Welcome to NYIT's Global Focus. I'm Denise Harlick. Today I am joined by Stacy Munsky Aquero, Associate Dean of Admissions here at NYIT, and Joe Fortini, a graduate student here at the college. Today the focus of our discussion will be on returning students, students who have returned to school later in life to pursue a college degree. Now whether these students have chosen to advance their careers or perhaps to change their career path altogether, they may face some uncharted waters ahead. So today we hope to shed some light on the challenges they face. So first, Stacy, um, tell me a little bit about what someone enrolling at MYIT can expect. Sure, well, admission to the college, um, to NYIT, and deciding to come and pursue your, your, your your studies at NYIT is a, is a big decision and we welcome students to, to enroll at NYIT and there's some business side of things that students have to do in order to complete um, their enrollment process before the start of classes each semester depending on, on, the, the, on the level of students. Of course, they would have to register for classes. In order to get registered for classes as a freshman student, you might have to take a placement exam in English or math, um, meet with an academic advisor, as well as your student solutions manager to kind of put you on the right path over the next two to four years um, of studies that you have at NYIT. Now, do you, how are the numbers? Do you see a large number of people returning to school later in life? Sure, I think NYIT has always experienced and has um, been well positioned in the market to attract students who might be what, what is quoted as the non-traditional age student. We offer career focused programs as well as part of our core mission is access to opportunity for qualified students, which naturally brings students who have that interest in a career change, who have that um, passion to maybe pursue further education. Um, and of course this year with the economic um, situation occurring in our country, we do see some more students returning to college to try and figure out what their next steps will be. Now, Joe, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, you're definitely not a you know, traditional student in the mm -hmm. sense of the word. Um, what brought you back to college? Well, as an employee of NYIT in the role I'm in, um, the opportunity to pursue a master's is available as an employee. And uh, we have, of course, the tuition remission plan in place. And I quite frankly uh, thought I'd be a fool not to, to take advantage of that. Um, I'm a st I, my undergraduate degree was a, as achieved as an adult. Um, I was a professional actor from the time I was 18 years old, so I never got around to finishing college the first time around. Um, I came to New York when I was 20 um, to pursue a career in show business, and that lasted for about, about 12 years. And during that time, I got married. I had a son. And so by the time I actually had time to get around to going back to school to finish my undergrad, I was 40 years old. Right. So now um, at NYIT, I have the opportunity to pursue a master's degree, and it's right in line with what I do um, for, the, for the school. Was there any fear involved? Oh, uh, sure. Absolutely. Um, you know, being a 53-year-old man in a room full of 20-year-olds is a little intimidating. The energy level is a little different. Um, and the workload I have in terms of reading and absorbing just for my job, when you pile on top of that, you know, the school load, it can be a little intimidating. And, uh, you know, putting your personal life aside from the, all of that, you know, trying to find the time just to do the basic things you have to do day to day, like speak to your, I have a son who's 17 and he'll be starting college in the fall. And it makes me laugh when I think that he'll be, he and I will be in college at the same time. <laughs> um, he's starting a, his undergrad in music education this fall. Oh, so nice. he'll be, he and I can study together maybe <laughs> once in a while. <laughs> right. Well, Stacy, let's get back to the economy. Do you think that's impacting um, a person's decision to return to college? Um, sure. I think traditionally in prior economic crises in this country and, and throughout the world, that as soon as, as there's, a, there's a downturn in the economy, people naturally 
look to seek out education to to advance their career, to change their career, to figure out what they want to do. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that does bring uh, a different set of students, more students in various fields. This year, um, in particular at NYIT and on Long Island, we have seen an increase. I don't think it's the increase that um, perhaps was was predicted in a, in a national sense. I think people are scared this year. Um, we have mortgages in in this part of the world that that most people don't see. We have bills that that people have to pay every day, and they're they're scared to take on tuition increases um, and tuition bills. They're also even if they haven't lost their job and they want to just pursue some further education, they're scared about the time commitment away from their job to to then potentially lose their job. So we're, we're dealing with a lot of students who are very interested but don't know how they're going to fit it into their, their day of, of work. Um, and, and we're certainly dealing with, with the finances of how they're going to pay for it. Okay. Now, do you think that um, students are aware of financial assistance? Is there financial assistance for returning students? There is financial assistance um, for a variety of different students. I think um, Just students who, who um, are either getting a second bachelor's degree or a graduate student assume that they've already gone through the financial aid process and might not have opportunities. Um, at NYIT, we offer scholarships to many of our students. This year, we offered over $28 million in scholarships um, to our students. There, there might not be some federal monies out there, but um, there are definitely but there are definitely opportunities for for our students who want to return, who want to to move on, um, either advancing their career or getting a a chance at a new career, something that might have always interested them and and now's their time to pursue it. Okay, great. We'll be back in a few moments. Please stay with us as we continue our discussion on returning college students. Mm -hmm.